defend the spring water corridor. The trail that runs through the metro from the Willamette to Boring was once a rail line, but today is dotted by clusters of encampments. The city says that 500 people live in the corridor, but after canvassing residents and surveying the encampments myself, I estimate that number to be closer to 1,000. Every year, the city sweeps the trail for the Hood to Coast bike tour, but this year is very different. The camps along the trail have seen an explosion in numbers this summer, and conditions have deteriorated to deplorable levels unseen anywhere else in the Pacific Northwest. Residents of the trail struggle to meet basic needs like water on hot summer days. People bathe in, in water tainted by waste. Recently, Mayor Hales has reversed his position on allowing camping at the Springwater Corridor and has ordered the police to begin sweeping the encampments on August 1st, in time, in time for the lucrative Hood to Coast tour. Media outlets have amplified the voices of neighborhood associations who demonize the vulnerable with sweeping generalizations and paint the residents of the trail as outsiders. The vast majority of people living on the trail are from Southeast Portland. Today's renters are, to, are tomorrow's tenters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Instead, <laughs> instead of seeking to relocate them and serve their needs, the city has decided to scatter this community with riot cops. Every resident I spoke with has nowhere to go or else they wouldn't be living on the trail. Activists who work with the houseless and other community organizations have created a coalition to resist the police and help residents of the Springwater Corridor to stand their ground. The gleaming spires of downtown Portland cast a long and dark shadow that swallows East Portland. I spoke with a native Portlander living on the corridor who told me, I am a victim of disaster capitalism. That is to say, that the economic system we toil under that impoverishes the masses for the benefit of a ruling class has created a crisis that destroys people's opportunity to achieve their full potential. If we are going to fight for change and represent the 99%, we must have the strength and vision to carry the political revolution beyond the ballot box and into the streets so that an injury to one is an injury to all. Thank you.